Hello, Wade Hampton. Uh, my name is Alex, and I hope you're enjoying this virtual career fair. So I'm an engineer, and specifically a manufacturing engineer, and I've been working for General Electric, or GE, for the past 13 years, uh, specifically in their aviation business. So I've known for a really long time that I've wanted to be an engineer. Actually, I remember telling my mom when I was five that I wanted to be a engineer before I could say it right. Um, and I've kind of gone back and forth over the years, uh, being having some interest in being an architect or possibly going into the Navy, but I'm glad, I'm glad I stuck with engineering. So as far as how I got here, uh, I'll kind of walk you through my education and work experience. And so similar to where you guys are now um, in high school, I studied a lot of uh, math and physics and chemistry and really took um, the most challenging classes in that that I could find. So uh, that set me up for success to go to uh, WPI or Worcester Polytechnic Institute uh, where I studied aerodynamics, fluids, stress, materials, and lots of really tough classes like that. Um, so I guess as far as college goes, one thing to remember is that I didn't use all I was taught. Um, but I did learn how I learn personally and I learned how to do that quickly and I learned how to take good notes along the way So all of that said uh, I was able to apply to GE aviation up near up in Massachusetts and I became a design engineer for them I did that for about three years and I studied uh, I focused on CAD and which is computer-aided drafting uh, and I did a lot of design reviews, pitching out uh, parts that I helped design for helicopter engines. And then I also worked, uh, worked within guidance of a lot of standards that we had to make sure that the parts were safe and would last a long time. I also got to work with some really great customers, including um, the Navy and some other internal customers, as well as other aircraft manufacturers as well. Um, so that was a lot of time behind a computer, um, at a desk, working with a few individuals. Um, and so I, try, I decided to try a, uh, a different role, which is where I switched to manufacturing. And so, um, so I switched to manufacturing up there in Boston. And that was really where I kind of solidified um, my speed, hands-on approach, uh, really developed my organizational skills. So instead, I was working with a lot of different people um, and had a lot of interruptions along the way because you're working with three shifts. Um, and so being a technical expert for that area, for that time, um, really focused, really made, made it important for me to be organized um, to pick up where I left off. Uh, and all of that said, uh, it helped me really focus on um, executing. So just getting stuff done was very, very important for that role um, in a timely manner. Uh, and so that's when I actually came down here to Greenville. And so you can see down here, and this is where uh, the additional things that I had to learn and build off of um, were focused on collaboration, listening, and actually empowering others. So I wasn't actually the one making the parts, but I was guiding folks on how to make them um, the best, cheapest, and fastest way. So, so that was kind of a, a different spin on my manufacturing experience thus far. Um, so now this is a little bit um, this is a little bit old. So since then I've actually gotten a fourth role with GE, and I'm actually now doing this last role, uh, except doing it on a consulting basis and going out to different plants and guiding folks on Lean and Six Sigma and other manufacturing uh, best practices, and trying to help them become operationally excellent as well. So it's more of a teaching role, and uh, it's really been a lot of fun, except for the travel. So um, as far as the plant here in Greenville, uh, some of the jobs in that plant include um, machinists and maintenance, quality and production, um, all of which have aspects of being an engineer in them. Um, so those are some other things that you can consider outside of the realm of uh, just like a straight manufacturing engineer. So as far as um, you know, some of the highs that I, that I feel uh, through the work that I do, um, I would say that the, the number one thing is just delivering. So getting something done and delivering something to a customer um, that desperately needs it and is paying good money for it is really, really fulfilling. Um, so whether that be you know the first of a brand new part type or, um, 
or something like that. Uh, it's really, really fun to be able to support people in that way. Um, similarly, if there's a problem, um, you know, completing projects or solving big problems is really fulfilling as well. You know, so you're doing something the same old way that isn't working very well, and you figure out as an engineer how to do that better. You know, that can be really, really fun. Uh, as far as some of the lows for uh, for this role, I would say that just negative people that aren't interested in helping fix the problem are probably, in short, uh, the number one issue. Uh, that is frustrating and really uh, makes me have to uh, rest on my patience and and just be creative about how to how to help people through that. So I guess number one, try not to be that person, but just know that there, no matter where you go or what job you're involved in, there's going to be people that are um, that are challenging, whether they're having a bad day or they just don't understand what you're uh, what you're trying to coach them towards. Uh, it's it's your job to help to help them no matter what so uh, as far as career goals uh, which isn't on this page but as far as career goals go uh, I'm hoping to one day be an engineering manufacturing um, manager so of, of, uh, coaching and leading a team of folks uh, like myself at some point in the future so uh, as far as advice for you guys for finding what you'd love to do I would say uh, personally I love what I'm doing and I believe that I'm using the gifts that God has given me uh, to best serve the world right now. So as far as my suggestion for you, just think about the classes and hobbies you love to do and try to match those up with what you're good at. And I would think that um, your family and friends and teachers uh, that know you well can help you do that and find something that, um, that would provide value to somebody to pay, pay well for, you know, so that you can get a, a, a job that pays, that pays well. Uh, as far as interviewing for that uh, for that role, I, I mean the advice that I would give that's been most helpful for me is just be yourself, uh, be honest and humble, and I guess just try to explain why uh, you are passionate and skilled towards helping them with what the role would be, uh, and see if you have any examples of how you've demonstrated that in the past. Uh, as far as engineering position options in the area, I mean, here in the upstate, there are literally too many to describe. So I guess just know that you are in a great area for industry. Uh, you've got GE Aviation and Power. Uh, you've got a large, a large um, contingent of automotive companies in the area as well. And so just ask your guidance department about them. Uh, finally, I'll leave you guys with this. But uh, what can you be doing now? So down here, uh, I would say number one, get, get hands on. Uh, so whether that means helping your family or friends or neighbors with projects around the house, fixing things, things like that. Um, you know, just exercise your brain in that way. Just trying to figure out the best way to do things and helping people along the way. Um, as far as when, when you're in school, just take as many math and science and engineering classes as you have available and um, build and create things. You know, have fun with it, be creative, um, really just uh, spark your imagination with whatever you can. Um, and lastly, just be proud of being a nerd. So, uh, because, you know, we help make the world a better place one widget at a time. And if you're interested in that, I hope you, uh, I hope you have good luck in finding that position um, in engineering that you can love someday too. So, hopefully that was helpful. And I thank you for the opportunity. Right, good luck.